Hi, welcome to Kitchen Chemistry with Essential Wholesale and Labs. I'm Tinika, and today we're going to make an MSM banana and orange fruit facial serum. Uh, you can use this for uh, friends and family as gifts, you can use this at home, or you can use this to add to your product line for your skincare business. So let's get started. Okay, to make your MSM orange and banana fruit facial serum, you'll need a few ingredients. You'll need one and three quarters cup orange blossom distillate, two tablespoons of Opti MSM, one half tablespoon vegetable glycerin, one half tablespoon USDA certified organic banana fruit powder, two teaspoons of phenoxyethanol, one teaspoon tetrasodium glutamate diacetate, one tablespoon hyaluronic acid powder, and approximately one half teaspoon of citric acid to adjust your pH. You'll also need pH strips, and you can watch our video on how to read and measure pH. Um, and of course, you can purchase the pH strips online on our website. You'll also need a hot plate or a stove top um, to heat up your water, water phase, which basically is the whole thing. Um, anyway, so <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by adding all of our ingredients except for the hyaluronic acid and the citric acid. We will add those later. So I'm just gonna, this is the Opti MSM. Put that right in there. And the banana fruit powder. And the tetrasodium glutamate diacetate. So this is your chelator. It helps your preservative work better. And of course your preservative, which is the phenoxyethanol. And finally, the vegetable glycerin. So I know this kind of looks like a mess right now, but once we heat it up and mix it, it's going to be absolutely beautiful and interesting and awesome. So you'll also need a high shear mixer. Um, and actually I'm going to heat this first and then we'll high shear mix. So we'll just put that directly on the heat. Give it a little stir. Um, don't be concerned if the banana fruit um, clumps up, it hydrates really quickly. It'll grab moisture right out of the air. It's, a, it's nothing but um, powdered banana, so it's going to hydrate very fast. And those clumps will break up um, as we heat this. So we only need to heat it to 120. And I have this handy dandy tool. It's pretty cool. It's a temp gun, and it tells me exactly what temp we're at. And right now we're only at 71 degrees. So we're gonna let that heat to 120 and then we're gonna mix it up. Okay, so now that we've heated this to 120, you might notice that the color has changed pretty dramatically. So I'm just gonna get this hot plate out of here. So you may have noticed that the color changed pretty dramatically as we heated this up. And the color change is completely expected. Do not be alarmed. I promise you, your serum will not end up a funky green color. So let's uh, just go ahead and mix this together. You can see that there's still clumps of banana powder in there and everything. So we wanna make sure we fully homogenize all of this. <laughs> So make sure you really break up any clumps that are in there. And now we're ready to add our hyaluronic acid. So to add the hyaluronic acid, you're going to sprinkle it in while you're high shear mixing. If you just dump it in there, you risk uh, creating clumps of stuff and fish eyes and, and having your product be inconsistent. So let's go ahead and sprinkle that in while we're mixing. So you can see that I may have dumped it in a little fast and there's a little bit left sticking to my blender. I'm just gonna go ahead and push that in and see if we can't homogenize that. My blender on top of there. And You may need to adjust the speed of your blender. I'm going to turn this up a little bit and mix it a little faster. I keep seeing a little piece of banana fruit and I'm trying to mix in there. So 
Just go ahead and keep mixing. It may take a little time, but keep mixing until everything's fully homogenized. Okay, now that everything is fully blended, we're going to take the pH. And this is what I wanted to uh, make sure that you have pH strips and citric acid for. When we take the pH of this and compare it here, let's see, we are, not sure if you can quite see where we're measuring, but we're pretty close to eight and a half, eight, between eight and a half and nine. Um, if we're comparing color on the pH uh, meter or the pH uh, guide on the back. So we definitely want to adjust that down. That is not the ideal pH for skin. So we're going to add our citric acid. And it's better to add a little bit at a time to make sure that you get to the right pH. So I know I have about a, a half teaspoon here, so I'm just going to add some of that and mix it and test the pH again. So we'll leave a little bit in there, just in case it's a little too much. And this is the fun part. This is where, if you watch the video on pH, pH affects color dramatically. So it went from a funky green to this nice peach color. And before you measure pH again, make sure you really get all that citric acid fully blended in there so that you don't over adjust your pH and make it too acidic. So we'll test again and see where we're at. I guess I better pull my mixer out of there. Okay, so now if we look at pH, we are right about where we want to be. So you want to be someplace between four and a half and five and a half, ideally. And that's exactly where, we're, where we are. It looks like we're right between four and a half and five. So I'm not going to adjust it anymore. I'm not going to add the rest of the citric acid I, I have. And this serum is ready to be poured off into your packaging. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you enjoy your new MSM orange and banana fruit facial serum. You can find links to to buy all of these ingredients in the description of this video by clicking the more button and be sure to subscribe for more great videos.